Minaston Konnichiwa und Willkommen. And today I'm doing another impressions video. But this time I'm doing another anime from my childhood. And that's the Tatsunoko adaptation of Pinocchio. Known in Japan as Kashinokimoku. Which roughly translates as Mock the Oak Tree. Which was originally a 52 episode series that aired on Fuji Television in 1972. The voices I'm mainly going to be tackling are the ones from the Harmony Gold dub. But we'll tackle into some Saban material as well. Let's get started. <clears throat> My goodness, you're one of the most beautiful pieces of oak I've ever seen. I'm fortunate that I found you. Yes, you're going to be just perfect. I'll begin immediately. Hmm, he's talking to that piece of wood like if it's alive. My goodness, what a lovely grain. Why, it's almost noble in character. This is going even faster than I thought it would be. Just a few more strokes and I'll be done. Once the surface is smoothed up, I can assemble it. Wow, quite impressive. Just as I pictured it. Now all I have to do is put this hairpiece on and you'll be completely finished. Ah, perfect. It is perfect. It's a wonderful doll. <laughs> well, young fella, I made you the son that I never had. I hope you enjoy your new home. Now that you're here, I won't be so lonely anymore. So that's why he loves his new doll so much. He never had a family to keep him company. And, well, since I am your father, I suppose I better give you some sort of name. And since you're so young, how about Walter B. Whippersnapper? <laughs> but since you're held together with pins and made out of oak... Yes, that's it. I'll call him Pinocchio. Pretty good name. Pinocchio, yeah. A fine-looking lad. Someday you'll be big and strong, just like other boys. Why, I've never seen such a beautiful piece of wood like this. It's exactly what I've been looking for all this time. Hmm, I've got a feeling I know what's going to do with it. I've got to admit, he was good. A real pro. He carved that oak like it was a bar of soap. And you can tell by the way he sculpted it that it was turning out just the way he wanted it. So much for my new home. But I like what you did with it. Except for that long nose. What a honker. Yeah, now you're talking. Hey, it looks just like a kid. Can he dance? Whoa, whoa! Even if you are just a puppet, I'll treat you like a son. I'll always love you and take good care of you. I know you're not real, but you'll be the son I never had. I don't really know about this guy. I don't think he's playing with a full deck. Now I've got to find a name for my little boy. I could name you after me. Yeah, let's see, it could be Geppetto Jr., huh? That'd be... <laughs> a Junior Woodhead! <laughs> ah, that's it. I'll call him Pinocchio. Pinocchio? That's perfect. I feel like you're almost real. I know you're not, but still, you're the only thing I've had that's like a child. Real to me, Pinocchio. If only if it could talk and walk like a real boy, I'd be so happy and proud. But why would you want a kid? I know that's something that will never happen, Cricket. I'll always be just a lonely old man. My little Pinocchio. Good night. You know some Pinocchio? You look like you make some termite a good meal, eh? <laughs> Come on, smile, sport. This sure beats being a piece of driftwood. I decided to spend the night at the cottage. As I was drifting off to dreamland, something unbelievable was happening outside. It was the oak tree again. It was doing its magic. And you, Timothy, will be Pinocchio's guardian. Me? You're not serious. Quite. Goodbye, Pinocchio. Wow, she was here. Pinocchio was moving. He's alive. 
No, not now. Wait till morning. I'm alive. Wake up, Geppetto. Hey, wake up. Oh, hey. I can't see nothing. What? <laughs> I'm asleep, or this must be some fantastic dream. Why, hello there, Geppetto. I, it is not a dream. He's really alive. Oh, my prayers have been answered. Thank you. Thank you. Don't let breakfast slow you down. Well, maybe should just have a glass of milk. Oh, that delicious porridge! Oh, what a glutton that boy is! I have something for you. Look, lunch. Oh, lunch for me? Thank you, Papa. Where's my food? I hope you're hungry, Rudy. I saved some porridge for you. There you are, my little friend. I hope you enjoy it. Eat hearty. Hey, you. Hey, buddy, listen. Let's skip school and watch a show, huh? What do you say? Okay, let's go. You can't see the show unless you pay them first. Pay them with what? Money, but, um... What money? Just sell your books at the pawn shop. Oh, there's the pawn shop. I'll sell my books. You're going to make me a very rich man, my dear. <laughs> and you better obey me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Perform for the audience, stringless puppet. But, but, I don't know how to perform. <sighs> Dance, fool. Go on. Ah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> A very beautiful sound. And it's just the beginning. <laughs> Pinocchio, Zanfinio's very evil man. He'll never let you go home. Papa. Pinocchio. <laughs> Maybe he'll never return. Do you think you can get away from the great Zanfano? Come back here! Hold on there! I'll get you! Ah! Ah! You'll pay for this! You'll never get away from me again! This is a gold coin, Pinocchio. It's very valuable. I want you to take good care of it. I want you to go to the market and buy food for us. Now run along. I will, Papa. Bye. This calls for some action. Hey, Sly! What's the matter with you, Rudy? I gotta catch up on my sleep. But I know where we can get our claws and some gold. Gold? Let's go. Well, now, how are we gonna get this away from him? Just scare him and grab it. Listen, Rudy. I work with my brains, not with my muscle, and don't you ever forget that. Oh, uh, I don't believe it. What? I must be dreaming this whole thing. If you are, we're all having the same dream. Me too, we can't all be dreaming. Well, I better check this out for all of us. That's my tree. Get out of the way, kid. That's no ordinary light. We better find out what it is right away. Oh, oh no, it's taking too long to get to the ones on the top. I can go back to the village and get some more ladders and help for us, lady. And then we'll have to share with more people. I got a much better idea. Why don't we just cut the tree down? Oh, all right, Cricket. Yeah, we must talk. I can book you in for tomorrow. Afternoon, okay? We'll talk about this right now, you spoiled little brat. And you better listen to every single word I have to say. Eh, bug off. I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. <laughs> He's not going to let you out of your cages. We got to put a stop to his cruelty. What can we do about it? I say that. We refuse to perform if he doesn't start treating us all better. Come on, Aurora. If you, if you go on strike, you're going to make everything worse. You got to 
You gotta get us out of here, Pinocchio. If I stay in this cage, I'm gonna go nuts. Let me out of here. I demand to see the magistrate. You better get comfortable. I have a feeling you're gonna be there for quite a while, Sampano. So try and relax and just be good. But I can assure you I'm a law-abiding citizen. Ugh. This is all Pinocchio's fault. All his fault. Okay, that should be it for the video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. And as always, amigos, au revoir, au vidazan, sayonara, adios, and arrivederci. And make sure you click that bell icon so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll be back with another video shortly, so stay tuned.